with some details on this uh, this big event which is coming up. Hey, bud, it's Bert Barry, WCTC. How you doing, my friend? I'm oh, good, my friend. How you doing, Bert? I'm How's doing everything going. Everything's great, man. Thanks so much uh, for taking a couple minutes to talk to us. Kind of short notice, but uh, I'm glad you could spare us a little bit of time. Great honor, tremendous honor for you guys. So how did this all come about that you guys are going to Pasadena? How did this happen? Um, about last uh, October, November, we received a letter from uh, one of the music directors over that evaluates all the uh, bands for the Turner and Roses, and they actually sent us an invite. And they said, we would like you to uh, uh, send us an application. And uh, we uh, applied, and the next thing you know, we're going. Wow, did you have to submit, do a performance or submit a video, or how did you? Uh, uh, how, how, did, how did that work? We had to submit a video of the band over the last couple of years. We had to submit a video, you know, videotape, uh, actual recordings. We had to get recommendations for 10, 11 uh, different um, organizations. Um, it was a very lengthy process, and uh, next thing I know is uh, they said we um, we're one of the uh, 22 bands in the parade, and Come on out, and here we go. Wow, congratulations. Only the third band from Jersey that's ever been a part of this parade. And this parade, is it over 100 years old or somewhere around 100 years, right? Um, actually, I think we're around the fifth band from New Jersey. Oh, okay. It was about 120 years old. Wow. I think Rutgers Marching 100 in 1969 was one of the first. Mm, okay. Then Lakewood, Tom, to South, and Washington Township. I actually think we're the fifth. Okay. Hey, so that's right not, not too many from the Garden State, I'll say that. And uh, we're honored. We're truly honored. Good. These kids got to be so excited. they they got to be able to hardly contain themselves when they got the word about this, right? Oh, you can't imagine how, you know, we have 200 kids in the band, and right now they're fundraising like crazy to try to make everything work out there. Good. You know, because it's, it's roughly $1,500 a kid that they got to fundraise. Wow. Uh, yeah, so if, if there's anyone that wants to make a donation, I can tell you the website. Yeah, you know what, why don't you do that? I'll let you plug that a couple times, bud. Why don't you give me the website now? Uh, JaguarBandToRoseParade.com. Okay. JaguarBandToRoseParade.com. Put an HTTP in front of it, colon, slash, slash. Okay. JaguarBandToRoseParade.com. And if they want to know about some of our upcoming events, they go to www.JacksonJaguarBand.com. Cool. And it has all the videos of the band of the rock show that we're doing this year and everything else. You know, our fundraisers are mega $10,000, 50-50, and type of things. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put that link up on our Facebook fan page uh, for you too, bud. Hopefully we can get uh, some donations from some people there. Bud McCormick, oh, awesome. Bud McCormick, our guest, the longtime band director at Jackson Memorial what? High School. How, how long, bud? How, how many years have you been doing this? What do you mean long time? Long time. You've been I'm doing this a little time. while, right? I'm just a kid. <laughs> uh, I've been at Jackson since 83, but uh, teaching since 79. Oh, nice. But I'm not a long time. Okay. I'm only a kid, you know. Uh, just a kid. Right, right. Okay, that's two of us then. You got, uh, how about some, you got some famous alums uh, who you had the chance to work with in the band there, uh, bud? Uh, talk about some people that you've worked with. Oh, we've, we've had a great bunch of kids there. Uh, I guess one of the most popular ones is uh, probably Zach Wild of uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Come on, the guy with the blonde hair that plays in Ozzy's band, he was in your band? Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. He was, a, he was a bass clarinet player, and he played in the jazz band, and he played in a spring concert. But he was playing a, I remember this one time he was playing a Bach um, etude, and before the piece was over, he jammed it to Randy Rhodes. I almost killed him. But, uh, <laughs> little did you know. <laughs> yeah, little did I know. A few years later, he'd be uh, uh, going out for London for Ozzy's audition. But uh, he was playing all the basketball games, the national anthem with his teeth for the guitar. So he was really? a cool kid. Wow, that's was, pretty awesome. Actually, I, I stay in contact with these days. I'm still his old, old, no, young music teacher friend. Right, right, right. Yeah, you guys have an age today, of course, right? <laughs> right. right. So, so you have to come up with like some kind of special theme uh, to be a part of this, uh, Bud? You guys have to work on some special stuff? Um, well, actually, we're representing the Mid-Atlantic region, so we're, uh, which is around 12 states, so we're playing... I saw on Broadway for that, you know, because that represents this area. And the theme of the parade is all the places you go, and we're playing a piece, piece by journey. Don't stop believing for that. Oh, okay. Plus, everything is coming up roses when we do the Disney Electric Light Parade out there. Awesome. All right. 
have you seen a, a lot more interest, uh, Bud, in what you do? You know, television shows like Glee that sort of make it cool to be involved in band and different groups at school. You guys seen more interest with that? Oh, yes. The kids, you know, these days uh, there's a lot more talent shows, you know, for the kids to be involved with. And I think the arts are starting to make a comeback, you know, compared to the 90s uh, or the, the early 2000s. Yeah, um, it is becoming more popular. The kids like are, are enjoying themselves when they perform, and that's good to see. Excellent. Good. Good to hear. So you're doing, uh, you're learning uh, some rock songs to get ready for this, right? You're doing some Jersey rock tunes for this? Uh, we tried to, but due to copyright laws, uh, where we had to go everything by copyright because it's going to be shown in uh, um, 22 languages, 240 countries. Mm -hmm. So every piece that we had to do had to be totally copyrighted. And we're doing um, some Radiohead, we're doing some um, Ozzy, we're doing some uh, Queen, beautiful. So Rolling Stones and Journey and. Leonard Skinner. Uh, we were doing a total rock show that we could get our pieces copyrighted by the right people in order to perform them. Gotcha. Okay. And you're looking for sort of you're looking for a name. You're looking for sort of uh, a name to hang over this whole thing, right? Well, we came up with a title called Cover Band. We might be sticking with that, but okay. if you have any good suggestions, I'll take them. How about Jersey Rocks the Roses? You like that? Jersey Rocks the Roses. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> All right, well, great. You sound like you're definitely a rocker, too, you know? Well, you know, I'm excited for you guys because uh, what you guys are doing is rocking. You're doing Jersey so proud uh, at the Rose Bowl Parade, man, which is such a great honor, so. It is. Yeah. Uh, January 1st, we're going to be out there strutting our stuff down uh, uh Colorado Boulevard, man. That's right. Watch out for that uh, little old lady from Colorado Boulevard, right? Yeah, watch out for her. Uh, Bud, again, thanks for the time. Uh, short notice. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, give me that website again so folks can kind of uh, contribute and make this happen for your kids. It's JaguarBandToRoseParade.com, or if you want to learn about our, our band events, like our October 6th band competition, they go to www.JacksonJaguarBand.com. Excellent. And like I said, I'll put that link up on our Facebook fan page. Bud McCormick, the band director, the uh, marching band director there at Jackson Memorial High School. Congratulations, man. This is a great honor. I know you guys are going to do Jersey proud, and uh, best of luck to you, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to chat before you guys head out west, all right? Uh, definitely keep in touch. Thanks, man. Best of luck to you. We'll talk to you. Thanks, man. All right, take care. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bud McCormick, who is the marching band director at Jackson Memorial High School. How about that? Those guys marching in the Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena, California. Uh, it's going to take a lot to get these kids out here. To be invited and to qualify is one thing, but to actually do it is going to be tough. So uh, they're looking for some, some contributing, some fundraising ideas. Uh, they're even looking for a name of their, their sort of set in their band. I'm going to put some links up on our Facebook fan page for you, uh, jacksonjaguarband.com or jaguarbandtorosparade.com. I'm going to put both of those links up for you on our Facebook fan page. I'll probably do it during the 2 o'clock news break, so make sure you check back and uh, click on the links and get involved. And uh, this is a pretty special thing uh, for these kids from Jersey. So best of luck to them, and uh, many thanks once again to Bud McCormick. 153 on New Jersey.